Hey there, cool teachers. We wanted to show you something cool. Okay, I wanted to show you something yeah, cool well, that I've been telling. I wanted tell to find out about it, though, too. Yes. There is an app, and I love looking at apps, and I love looking at apps that we can tell teachers uh, about. Now, making stuff for the classroom, super cool. Love to do it. Love to print things that are, that are personalized for the students. And whenever you can turn your, uh, your mobile device, your camera, your phone into a media creation device and then use some other app to help you do that, super cool. Do it. Do the it. app do is it. called Sticky Nine. You saw that in the title. But one of the things that Sticky Nine allows you to do, and here's where they got started, is by making magnets from pictures from your phone. You just take pictures on your phone, you upload them via the app, and you make some cool magnets. I've got some right here. And they uh, make two different sizes, and these are the small ones. Right, and they actually make a third uh, oh, size okay. that are more retro looking. They've got more of a, a border around them. Um, and I printed these, I think, for $17. Um, really inexpensive. These are all different magnets that can be placed on a dry erase board. And you can actually link to your Instagram account too, yep. and it'll it'll find and pictures. And your Facebook. So and you can, Facebook. You can okay. pull them all off your thing. Now these happen to be pictures of my family and certain chores around the house. So here's how you we make use your it. your kids do chores? Yes, we do. You so, are mean. Um, mean these, daddy. These are the different ones that they have to do. My wife and I, we have to do dinner. Where's uh, the toilet bowl? Oh, yeah. Well, we've got a couple of bathrooms You can't show that here. one. No, no, no. Um, but you you get the you get the idea here. So these are the chores here, right here, and then you have your kids. Yep. And so you line them up with the mm -hmm. chores. And this was really inexpensive to do, and it shipped uh, directly to me. These are the magnets. So think what you could do, teachers, with magnets like these in your classroom. I was just going to ask you that. How would you right. use them in the classroom? Well, so you could have each student uh, take their own photo and then and then have their own magnet that would mark their progress through different uh, project-based learning pieces or to, to have them mark their mood today, how they feel, their energy level, um, how they're eating. You could do all sorts of so what you get a magnet board then you need like a big magnet most board. dry erase boards are magnetic well that was my question i yeah. didn't know that but so you, you could draw something you could draw your own table on there yes. and say like students and they just were supposed move to them do across, certain things right. mm -hmm. let's say a younger classroom an elementary yep. school classroom exactly in montessori school where they teach you how to polished silver and mm -hmm. you could make a little chart and put the kids pictures on there and especially exactly. if they're so young yeah you could actually put text on the pictures yes, before you, you upload them and put little things on them teachers minds are exploding everywhere you're oh, thinking of all the cool things that you could do and we'd love for you to leave them in the comments below we'd What's love to know called? more about sticky nine sticky nine now this sticky isn't all nine. i have to show you they oh. also have some other products that uh, that they create okay and this is a poster. I think I paid $16 for this, $18 for this. I forget the exact number. This is great. This is, again, more family stuff. But what we did is we took just all pictures from our phone. I grabbed a few off my uh, my wife's uh, Facebook page, and I just put them into a poster, and we just printed oh, the poster. Oh, again, wouldn't this be so cool in the classroom? You so could cool. do pictures of all, like, uh, maybe of the of the month's activities yeah, or something, the, what the they art were fair, doing. The, the science fair, all of their How different... How about if the parents wanted to get one, too, mm -hmm. and you could say, hey, they get a little budget, Would and parents like could one of these? print them, right. and, and, or you could get them for the parents, and they pay you. As a teacher, you could, uh, you could create a student's individual photo record throughout the year, put those all together into a poster, and have you know their superstar poster. And because you can position these any way you want, you could put their name in it. You could use individual color spaces. One of the other things I really like about this too is that you could print one of these um, with certain uh, projects or spaces and then have students actually play like a shoots and ladders by moving. It could become a game board as well. How much, do you remember how much this cost? I think it was 17 bucks. Yeah, so that is so Delivered. great. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Anyway, this is Sticky Nine. This is one of these really cool tools that I've found super interesting. You cool teachers might find a way to use it. And if you do, leave the details in the comments below. We'd love to know your ideas and how you might use Sticky Nine. Great. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>